Leighton Hatfield kicks it off, and West Virginia will take it out at the 25 as we say hello to Roddy Jones. On second down, Greer with time. And completes for a first down. It is Marcus Sims who's coming off back-to-back 100-yard -back games. Greer back to the air. He's got Simmons, a big gain inside the 30, and T.J. Simmons rumbles down to the 15-yard line. In front of them and not behind. Greer has Jennings. Touchdown, West Virginia. The fifth. They'll drop eight. And this one is complete. And that's J.D. and High, sixth-year senior. He was doubtful and would be a game-time decision. That one is intercepted. Off the hands of Bowman, into the hands of Kenny Robinson. Robinson had three interceptions last year in all Big 12 selection. And West Virginia back in business. All of his passes, Bowman makes the first mistake. And Robinson right there to clean it up. This ball is thrown in and behind him. And when you put that, that paw up as a wide receiver, the one thing that you're thinking is... Onto the ground and into the end zone for six. It's Letty Brown, his second rushing touchdown of the season. Here it comes. Bowman gets rid of it and off the hands of J.D. and High. That's the second ball he's had go off his hands. Low to punt it away. He's only had two kicks returned this season, and that number will stay at two as Sills signals for a fair catch. Greer gets rid of it quickly. He's got Marcus Sims, and a gain of 11, a first down for Sims as we... Greer completing almost 80% on third down. Looking for Sims, who brings it in. And he's going to be about a yard shy of the marker. Fourth down. Box on fourth down. And we get a flag. Ball start. Offense number 55. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. The punting unit. Yeah, this is proverbial no man's land. Billy Kinney punts it away. Fair catch is called for and made at the 11-yard line. So, on third down, here's the pressure. Bowman, incomplete. Another nice play by Washington, knocking it away from Wesley, who's Panazzolo to punt it away. And a fair catch is made by Jennings. Sims. In the Red Raider territory, and he spun down at the 45. Fourth catch for Marcus Sims. I think he's my leading Heisman candidate right now for sure. Greer, downfield, looking for Sims. Touchdown, Mountaineers. And that is why. <laughs> what a dart. Defense, passing defense in particular, Really struggles. Will Greer here. This is his second read. He started on the right side of the field, comes back across, knew he had a one-on-one -on -one matchup based on what he saw at the top of coverage. Bowman. And there's Wesley for his first catch. Now everybody got to see it. There's J.D. and High to the 41. Young man I've seen on film all week. Bowman, again, plenty of time. Going long, wants Wesley. He's got it. And Texas Tech answers. Yeah, this was a beautifully thrown ball. Right on target, found the matchup he wanted over the top. West. Greer over the middle, Sims. A flag down at the end of the play. On the delay, McCoy. Slips past the defense, McCoy. Is he in? Touchdown, West Virginia. A 38-yard run by Kennedy McCoy. 
I liked what you said at walkthrough yesterday. He's got swag. He does. <laughs> Keyshawn Carter, former high school track champion. Instead, it's to the air. Wide open, finding the soft spot in the zone. J.D. and High for a first down. Toss to Felton, and he is deleted back at the 10. Oh my Josh goodness. Norwood, the cornerback. He was on a corner blitz. <laughs> and he just blows the play up. Fantastic. You'll see him here at the bottom of your screen. On second and goal, Felton brought down from behind by Long. The outstanding weak side linebacker averaging 10 tackles a game. Bowman. End zone too high for Bowman. Um, bending but not breaking. The kick is good by Hatfield. A 13-play drive. Again. Greer to the air. And he's got T.J. Simmons bouncing to the outside. Slips a tackle. Simmons with a full head of steam. Slingshots to the 45. A 20 sack on defense. Snapping the draw. That's a great play by this Texas Tech defensive line there, though. When West Virginia is really rolling, jumps. Let's see if he goes to Sills at the top. As he looks, goes back to Sills. That's just a fantastic catch. There's. Long pass down the field. We are Greer. Will Greer just overshoots his. Expect some type of pressure. And here it is. Bowman hit hard. Throws it up intended for high, and it's broken up. Josh Norwood got his hand on it. Because of what West Virginia does. Panazolo punts it away. Fair catch called for and made by Sills inside his own 30. Mount throw to a bigger target. Greer over the middle, Sims. That's his eighth catch of the first half. A three-man rush. Greer over the middle, and he goes right back to Marcus Sims, who's got nine catches, and now a new career high. Greer looking that way, looking for Jennings, who brings it in. The second touchdown of the game by Gary Jennings. There wasn't anywhere else to throw the ball, but watch this catch at the top of your screen. And they crossed him over. That makes it extremely difficult for guys to get in your face three points per game. Top scoring defense in the Big 12. J.D. and High with the reception and a new quarterback for Texas Tech. It's Jet Duffy. Texas Tech gets the ball first in the second half. Wow. Duffy, downfield, intercepted. Second pick of the half for Kenny Robinson. Robinson into Red Raider territory inside the Texas Tech 40. This is an ill-advised throw, and you'll see it here at the top of coverage, right? He threw it into the teeth of this defense. Poor penalty as they'll nail this one and take it in with a very convincing lead. A kneel down, and West Virginia will take a 25-point lead to the locker room. The mountain the quarterback now is Colt Garrett, guy that's played in one game this year and has not thrown very many passes. A nice run here for King to the 40, a gain of 13. And, and Jet Duffy throwing, meanwhile, and he's got Daquan Bowman into West Virginia territory. Be able to block him up front to win. Now this is Seth Collins tripped in the backfield. Ask you, Henry got him in. Henry to that spur position. He said he's better with less space and no space for Duffy as Dylan Tonkery gets his first sack of the season. Panazolo gets this one away. Fair catch is made inside the 15. <laughs> Third down now. Greer steps up. And that's broken up to Marcus Fields. Bowman from the 29, reverses field. And 
And we play action. Duffy rolling to his right. Throws near sideline. And that's a catch by Bowman. Respond. And here's the blitz. Duffy takes a hit. That ball is incomplete. Out of the hands of High. And a Zolo, a high punt. And a fair catch is made at the 11-yard line by Gary Jennings. He hasn't even really shown you his athleticism today. The kid can run decent enough to put some pressure on you. And Greer eluding the pursuit, finding Jennings. And that he's gotten a lot better at it. And it's become the norm now in college football. That's the tight end, Wesco. And Wesco. That's a grown man play inside the 40. <laughs> Give him 29 yards. Tevin Bush in motion. Greer instead downfield wanted Sills. Well covered. Throw a little off. And Syracuse do it again. Meanwhile, Evan Staley. This would be a career long. A 53 yarder. And it's no good. Nothing doing that time for Thompson. Held Oklahoma State to zero passing yards in the fourth quarter. As Jet Duffy is engulfed by Jabril Robinson, the grab. And Duffy on third down, running. And that's brought in by Carter. It's going to set up a fourth at about three and a half. West Virginia brings pressure. Duffy is hit. Completes to Wesley. And Antoine Wesley has the first down. It's a legitimate conversation that we're going to have. Little tunnel screen. Carter tumbles inside the 10. And, and I think depth. This is Henry. And he is stopped right at the point by David Long. Out of the I formation. Play action. Duffy in trouble. End zone wide open. Touchdown, Texas Tech. Daquan Bowman. Clap of confidence. Maybe it doesn't pay off today, but it will down the road. Greer. They're finding Jennings, who picks up a first down. And Martel Petaway finds some running room and another big gain on first down. 13 more. Petaway into the embrace of Texas Tech and Rico Jeffers. And play there from the young man from Garland, Texas. A rare negative play on first down for West Virginia. Mountaineers need the Red Raider 40. Greer downfield through the hands of Sills. Old Reliable could not come up with that and it's fourth down. Looking to claw back in. Kinney kicks it away, and Bowman wisely lets it bounce into the end zone. Keys. First carry of the game for DeLeon Ward. His first action since the season opener against Ole Miss. Three-man rush again by West Virginia. Duffy downfield. That's caught. Now the ball comes out, and they will rule it incomplete. J.D. and High was the intended target. Two costly drops. Now, did he catch that? Pass. That looks like a catch. I mean, it is a completed pass. It'll be first down, Texas Tech. West Virginia said we'll do the same thing. Now here's the blitz. Duffy running for his life. Somehow stays in bounds. Jake Duffy. Inside the 10 yard line. How did he do that? For the injured Alan Bowman. Duffy will run again. And this time, no real estate on the sideline as he's driven out by David Long. He really missed the 6 6 TJ Vasher. Pressure. Duffy. End zone. Broken up. Intended for Wesley. Keith Washington has had a really nice game this afternoon. 27 yarder up. And good. Here's the pressure. And Greer is sacked. Dakota Allen gets him. 5-10 at halftime. Starting quarterback 
out for the game. I don't know why you field that punt. Duffy hands it off to Henry. And he is brought down. David Long and Stewart. A loss of two. High snap. Pressure up the middle. Downfield for Wesley. And Wesley holds it in off the tip. Concentration by the junior from Las Vegas. Was incredible. It goes off the back of Washington, and Wesley still hauls in the catch. Going quickly. Dippy! Touchdown! Texas Tech! Coverage to that side. Greer sacked Eli Howard! On the draw, nothing doomed. Broderick, Washington, and... Greer downfield, off the hands of Simmons, caught by Sills. He's going to be a couple of yards shy of the first down. 28 points in the first quarter for the Mountaineers. They've pretty much shut them down since then. Bowman makes the fair catch after a 33-yard punt. On third down now. Duffy. Completes for a first down, Daquan Bowman. Daly on Ward. Play action. Duffy with time. Intercepted. Keith Washington is going to run it all the way back. One more look. Yeah, this ball is just poorly thrown. Didn't even see Washington in underneath coverage. But you see the deceleration of his arm. And is out for the game. Duffy will run. Duffy lunging toward the end zone and marked down right at the one yard line. Henry into the end zone for a touchdown. Still 38 seconds to go. Pick here. Out of bounds, West Virginia will have the ball. And the Mountaineers just have to take a couple of knees. Of effort. What a, what a roller coaster that he's been on today. You start to look back at this game. Texas Tech will not use a timeout. So West Virginia leaves Lubbock with an eight-point win. Dana Holgerson can breathe a deep sigh of relief. I don't think he needs a Red Bull. This game was... <laughs> Red Bull enough for Mountaineer Nation. And West Virginia hangs on. But this game of mod really was won in the first eight to ten minutes.